Welcome back to Ramble Gaming. It's been a little while. I thought we were done with those. Oh my god. <laughs> I was trying to, like, wait through all of the, uh, all of the DLC quests all loading in at the start, but I guess we missed one. So, hello again everyone. It has been so long since I've recorded. Um, if you saw the community post I made about a month ago, I was going to take a little break for my surgery. I did. And then I just kept taking a break. Um, and my surgery went well, but my recording habits did not. But I'm going to try coming back and not doing that again. So, look at the scenic overlook. Look at all this, look at all this land. Look at this place we can explore. Look at all this brown. Um, definitely one of the bigger problems with this game is just how brown it is. So... Let's just go down the path and see what we find, huh? Got some, uh, some broken up overpasses over there. I wonder if there's anything on, like, top of those. So there are for, like, some of them, but it doesn't look like you can really reach that one. Let's go take a look. Oh, we got a radio signal found. Interesting. Interesting. Hope you're all doing well, right? I am doing fine. I'm kind of glad to be recording again. What is... Ugh, what are you? A bloat fly. <laughs> Look at this friendly guy. <laughs> She's just a little penis. Oh, I missed. Of course I missed. <laughs> How did that hit? Oh my god. How did that hit? <sighs> One of the rare instances where the crazy spray at the start of Fallout 3 uh, benefited us. Yeah, it doesn't really look like we can get up there. There's probably nothing up there. Oh, hello, dog. Look at this friendly dog. It's a vicious dog. Maybe it's not so friendly. I thought it was friendly. Rest in peace, vicious dog. Dog meat! I'm sure that's a term that we'll never see again in the series, right? Let's just go back on our on our road. I wasn't really meaning to go over here. But, uh, just kind of got distracted. So, there's a really cool, like, little, like, piece of world design that I appreciate with this area. So, like, the starting area, it's, like, right over here, right? We exit out the vault here. We get a cool look at DC. Um, and you see, like, if you look down in the bottom left corner, you can see a bunch of, like, markers, right? The game is not exactly telling you where to go, but it is hinting, okay, there is stuff over here. Well, if you look behind the vault, there's nothing. There's literally no markers. It's just kind of an empty area. You know, there's like wasteland, there's like stuff you can look around at. But there's there's nothing over here that's like of interest to you. And, I mean, you can. You can go straight this way and make your way to a pretty late game, like, story aspect. It's like right over there, I think. Um, but I'm going to do a more traditional run. So we're going to follow what the what Bethesda intended for us to do. Or intended as the primary main like oh well, this is the main story, this is where we think you should go. Wow. We have spent at this point, I don't know, five minutes, four or five minutes in this video, and we are literally right back where we started. It's so funny. All right, well, let's get going. See what we can uncover here in the capital wasteland. We got a shopping cart. That's our friend. We're gonna, no, I wanna take it with us. We're gonna go shopping. Look at this nice shopping cart. All right, we're gonna leave the shopping cart behind. I'm gonna check out these little houses, cause there's gotta be something going on here, right? I mean, look at these houses. 
There's a mailbox. Ooh, frag grenades. And some drugs like Jat and Psycho. I'm not a huge chem user in Fallout. Discovered Springvale. Ooh, one letter off from a city in northern Arkansas. Because that matters, right? It's always good to loot. That's like one of the most important things. Um, in a Fallout game, is just to look around, see what you can find. Got a mailbox here. Pugilism Illustrated! We're gonna have a little tussle with our boys. Oh, nice. We got a safe. Oh, I think we can unlock it. Alright. So right there, there's like the... the Whatever. That was an easy one to unlock. But you unlock safes, you usually get pretty good things. This is a lot of drugs. Probably won't use them. That's a decent gun, especially for right now. And, if, and bottle caps are this game's version of money. Weird. A little flying robot, giving us some uh, some speech about an enclave, whatever that means. I don't know how 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 dumb should I really play? This is a this is a pretty old game at this point. It's almost old enough to vote. Um, just a couple more years, I think. Now a few more than a couple years. I don't know. Oh, we got our first piece of armor. We got leathered armor. Actually, we probably... Yeah, we already had armor. Uh, with security armor. But... Let's let's wear this leather armor. It's gonna definitely have more damage resistance. See, this one has damage resistance of 1. This one has 1 of 10. But this one also does melee weapon and speech up. There's something else we can do. You see with like these... Uh, jumpsuits, if you press Y... Or the top button or whatever, you can repair them. We have, like, no repair skill, obviously. It's the start of the game, so it's not really worth it, but we could do it if we wanted to. How we look. Look at us. <laughs> we look so goofy with this hat. Let's have a little baseball cap over our wasteland armor. This little music boy. A little music man. Yeah, yeah. Mailbox. Ooh. Someone was trying to flee. They don't think they made it. Oh. Interesting. We got a cellar door here. We cannot enter it. We can't even lockpick or anything. We need a key. Which we obviously do not have. Um. A mailbox. With Snooka Cola. We don't really need the ashtray. We need to check this mailbox. Is this one? There's something interesting in a mailbox I wanted to show off. Huh. Da, 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 da. Let me get to that house. Megaton. Well, that away. Well, that seems interesting. I mean, that's. A sign pointing us towards the direction. Pretty aimless. <laughs> Jesus, kicked it right now. Um, we'll head that way in a second. Let's just check out these houses, or at least this house. That house is interesting. That one looks like someone might actually live there. So maybe we should go visit them. Yeah, it'll give you resistance if you can't do it. Ah, oh, shoot. We broke up bobby pin, guys. There we go. Oh, but we got three bobby pins, so it's a net gain of two. Pretty good. Uh, there's alcohol there. I'm good. So, let's head down, down to Megaton. This little iBot is just like patrolling this like stretch of road. It's kind of weird. Maybe he was trying to talk to us. We got a little car hidden back here. Not really hidden, but behind the gate, I mean. Got some cones. A little car, a little burned out car. Now Megaton is that way. 
Perhaps that's Megaton. Who is coming to us? Oh, it's a little ant. Ooh, it's a big little ant. A giant worker ant. Bang. Nice. God. This would be a rough place to live if you're afraid of bugs. I mean, that is a big ant. Well, we got some uh, cow skulls. My cats do not clean up their litter well. One of them does not. Let's just put it that way. It smells. So I'm going to probably have to stop for a second and go clean up after her. Oh my god. Thank you, deputy. What's your deal, sir? Please. Please help me. I need water. I'm dying. What is this place? Some kind of city? It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents. Or people who can pay for it. Oh, please. If you find some, please. Alright. We don't have water on us, I don't think. Yeah. So we'll have to come back and give him water. If we want to be a good boy and girl. Well, if we want to be good boys and girls, we can give him some water. Loading screens. I'm gonna sit through a lot of loading screens. Not totally sure why. Another newcomer. Well, I know why, but whatever. Hello. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, girl. That's nice. Something tells me you're all right. Okay. So welcome to Megaton. Just holla if you need something. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Cool. Right. Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Uh, yeah, we're looking for our dad. He's a middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. All right. I'd ask around town. What do you want to know? Why is this town called Megaton? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off yet. Uh-huh. Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. Hmm. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Weird. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? No. For good? Or... Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, Dang. There'll be 100 caps in it for you. It's a lot of money. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Guys, we got a new quest. Don't blow us up now. Huh. Alright. A lot of options there. A lot of different things you could talk to the sheriff about. This is such a deep... Uh, decline it's just so so great it's just so intense i mean I, I imagine walking up and down this all the time i mean it's just crazy hello we're uh, we're, we're raking some dirt 
Oh my god. Bro. Do you think he knows his cow has two heads, or he just so trauma is so traumatized by the image of it he tries to forget? Attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Uh huh. Come forth and drink. Yeah, we do not have enough uh, stats and explosives to mess with it. Is our salvation? It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Uh huh. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Power. Let's get something Heal to eat. Be what do they sell here? There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. Really? You can't talk to her from here? We are released from the pain and hardship of this world. Yea, your suffering... I thought this was in America. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? What can you give me? What's on the menu? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Oof. Some of it even tastes good. Bigger oof. What do we want to eat? Jeez. You don't have to, Oh, we have no money. Well, we could try selling something, right? Um... What's something we're probably not going to use? Well, we have nothing to do with what we want to do with these, right? So, um... Hot plate. We're never going to use the jet. Let's be honest here. Let's just go with that for now. And that'll pay for us to get a stint pack. Cool. Enjoy. Oh man, you're stint packs what you use to heal, by the way. So it's it's just a straight healing Did he run item. Out on you when you were a kid or something? No. Our parents died when we were kids. Uh oh. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. That's nice. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry. No, I do but not. I haven't seen your dad. He didn't eat at the Brass Lantern. I'd remember if he did. That's nice. Thank you. Come back if you need something. Shall be washed away yeah, we have... Burned from you in Jericho. Maybe he knows. Hello. Ah, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Hey, asshole. Stay I don't like you. We have, no have, no have no trouble. Are you fucking kidding? All right. Yeah. You goddamn right. Never mind. Come back if you need something. Come back if you need something, bro. I swear to Christ. It's gonna be all friendly with me after all that. Hello. Hi there, Miss. Can I help you with something? Where's my father? Oh, there's a house here. Lucy West's house. What a nice house. No one's in here. Just a leave. <laughs> we just entered her house. Oh dang. Their pipes are leaking. That's not good. Someone should take care of that. Oh, I just heard a bird. Do we have birds around? I think we have birds around. Caw, caw. All right, the common house. All right, maybe your dad's in the common house. All right, who knows? <gasps> Dad, it is you. <coughs> uh, <laughs> this, is, this is some woman. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh, there's a third story. This is a nice little place. Just a place for anyone, really. Can we sleep in the beds here? I don't actually know. Enough for the common house. Probably not. Yeah. No, if we want to sleep in this town, we're going to have to find, like... We're going to have to pay someone, probably. Oh, well. You can sit down in the... It says ruined couch, but this couch honestly doesn't look bad at all. It just looks like it's a couch that's been outside. So, okay. 
Ooh. Nathan and Mania's house. You need something, Cupcake? Mania, this is your house. Well, hey there, stranger. Aw, hi. I'm Mania. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned Enclave all day. Huh. Yeah, we heard about the Enclave. From the iBot thing. Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon. Oh, we have a lead. Guys, we finally have a lead. All right. Come back if you need something, honey. Will do. We got information. And it looks like that's the saloon. Nice and easy. Maybe our dad's there. Is that yours? I was just looking, dude. It's a salon. Ah, uh, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. Oh, well. Wow. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave it's station pronounced comes in Job. Five. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Goddamn radio. Son of a bitch. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? This guy has seen better days. Ah, fuck. What are you? Stupid ghoul. Stop looking at me. You see, why would we be mean to this guy? Yeah, he looks rough. But he's he's nice enough, right? We think about it for a moment, my good man. You're not going to hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Are you kidding me? Shut the hell up, ghoul. I'll beat you if I feel like it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. Aww. Glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. Aww. But I like you. I like Job. We gained karma. Oh yeah, I oh, don't wow. remember a guy like that. See, being nice has Honestly, benefits, guys. I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Moriarty's your best bet. Let's go find this Moriarty fellow. Hello, Nova. Got a problem? What do you <laughs> I guess we work on the staring. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. <gasps> She has a crush on my dad. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. All right. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty. Take care of yourself, hun. All right. We gotta find this Moriarty fellow. Well, we found his computer. Where is Moriarty? Yes. Are you Moriarty? Whatever. Oh, like actually, where? Oh, he's outside, isn't he? It's been a little while. Yeah, okay, there he is. Hello, Billy. Well, hot damn! Someone new. Oh, dang. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I, like his I know patch. Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. No, it seems kind of nice Maggie, in the way. For instance, we make do just fine. Nice. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> That's cool. Sorry, who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. Aww. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. That's nice of you. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some mm. salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Kind of got a bad feeling about this. What do you do around here? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. 
Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over <laughs> her shoulder all the time. All right, and I've got catch you later. I like Billy though; he seems nice. Colin Moriarty. Colin Moriarty, always pleased to see a new face, but I'm afraid you've had the misfortune Bro. to catch me well out of me element. How's this guy got an accent? And proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon. But please see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. Wow. That was a lot of text. My God, it's you. Oh, the little he does baby know. girl, all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. I'm sorry, he's seen oh, me before. Daddy passed through here, all right. I was born here in the vault. Gone. Got what he came for in well, the I'm the vault, right? I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? What? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Yes. Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Dude. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Well then. You're wrong. My dad would never have lied to me. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that uh, goes what on down there. From some other fella. Escaped. Oh, five years back. Oh, hail back. the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. Oh boy. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Really? Say, a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. I don't have a hundred cops. All right, kid. Let me help you out. Uh -huh. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. What favor? Eager, eh? Good. I like that. You. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. Uh -huh. This junky bitch oh named my. Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject oh, herself into a stupor. We've been there. Get the cap she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Ah, a little bit of caps for so much information. Think about it. <sighs> I do not like Moriarty. I like Billy Creel better, even if I I don't completely trust him. Because his story was very convenient about how he was there. He just happened to find her at, right after the raiders showed up. I don't know about that one. But he seems like a good enough surrogate father, right? He likes her. Hey there. Were you just kidding about disarming that thing? Good to see you're staying out of trouble. I will disarm it. I thought you knew what you were doing. If it's just nerves, maybe some Kims will help. But if you can't handle it, don't go fiddling with it. I will. I'll don't I'll come back with I'll come back. I just can't do it yet, dude. We could fast travel back to Spring Valley. You can fast travel to any, like, marked location you've been to. It's pretty nice that way. So far we have Megaton, Spring Valley, and The Vault. We can just walk there, though. It's really close. Just down the road here. Mm, it's the evening now. Let's see, if we press this button, we can see what time it is. It is 6.02 p.m. On August 17th, 1977, the day 
I was born, no, none of that's true. It's 2077. I would be, what? I would be 80 in 2077. Oh no, it's 2277, I'm sorry, because 2077 is when the bombs drop. This is 200 years later. As unrealistic as the world being this devastated 200 years after nuclear Armageddon. It's not at all realistic. The world would have recovered a century ago at this point. Over a century. But it makes for a kind of interesting location. Um, this is the house, by the way. Yeah, we saw it earlier. I could have went in here, but I chose not to. Because I knew we'd be coming here anyway. I will not make the mistakes of my Hello. Princesses. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Yes, and he says you owe... He says you owe him some caps. That bastard. He's a... He's a liar! That sounds about right. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Slow down. Just let me... Just tell me your side of the story. Look, I used to work for that slob. Doing... You know... Favors for God. Her voice is pretty funny. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps uh, and leaving. You slept with I him? I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. It's disgusting. The next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. Okay, if you're trying to avoid him... Why did you... S Pick a house so close to him. Why didn't you just go off and find some other place? Just keep your caps. I'll tell Moriarty. You do run. that for me? I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. Yeah. Let's just get out of here. Look, we could have taken some money. I don't. There's plenty of ways to make money. Without stealing it from someone. That's basically what that would be. What just like, flew at us? Just, uh, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just let her keep her money. Be a good be a good girl. <laughs> Alright, we will take this though. We will beat Moriarty with this. So there's actually all several ways we can deal with Moriarty. <clears throat> you can pay him, you can do the, this job for him. If you're lucky, you can probably talk him down to a lower price. You could hack into his computer if you have enough um, science skill. Please, Still don't have it, dude. Um, or you can break into his, his locker and take some money out of there. No, sorry, not money. Ugh, take... The key to his computer, like like the pass key, and get into it. Um, this is the easiest way, and it involves basically no skills. You just have to be a nice person. I guess that's a skill, right? What is this here? The armory locked very hard. Well then. That's a place that probably has some crazy stuff. But we're on a mission right now to go find out more about our papa. What is this? Oh, this is the back of Moriarty's. Okay, well. I guess we made it to the back of it. Oh, let's see if we can... No, there's no way we can make that jump. <sighs> yeah, that's the one thing about Megaton is... It's a nice town, it's pretty cool, but... It can be kind of a maze to try to make your way around it. I mean, I've done this several times, and as you just saw there, I still got kind of turned around and took a kind of a rough way of getting it to here. Be? A few caps to Did you stupid favor? Can you tell me where my father is. You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? Yeah. I knew I could count on you. How about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? It's called economics, kid. You got something I want, and I got something you want. Nothing's free. I told you the favor would earn you some caps if you really took care of it. Now fork them over. I'll be... Alright. Great. What an asshole. 
fuck it. Yeah? You need something? Let's be a little sneaky sneaky. Got something on your mind? Okay. Hopefully no one comes in here. I am not paying that man any money. I don't care. Is it really losing karma if we're doing this to an asshole? When the chips are down, it means the Brahma is, is empty. Residence. Let, let's let's get some dish. Let's no. That's not how that phrase goes. <laughs> He's a bit boy. Oh my. Jesus. He tried to rape Jenny's doll? That's not cool. Hmm. Huh. I probably should be reading these out loud, right? This guy's a real piece of work. Open a fucking bar here in my town? What a jackass. I swear he's up to something. I'm going to have a. I'm going to have to think of a way to reduce his business a little. For now, at least, I still got my secret weapon, Nova. Best refreshment. That's disgusting. Tell me about Billy Creel, a nuka swilling brick. Oh dang! I. He feels he has the same theory about Billy Creel I do. A Nuka Cola swilling prick. Huh. Tell me about Doc Church. Church thinks he's a f such a freaking badass. Everyone runs around to him. They get a damn wood splinter. He slaps up their caps. Huh. I mean, sure, he used to be a medic for the slavers, but he's he's helping people now. Yeah, for money, whatever, but. Mr. Burke. Oh, <laughs> completed. We haven't actually read the dead entry yet. <laughs> this guy's a class A weirdo. We haven't talked to Mr. Burke yet. We'll see him soon. One day, I'm wiping out the bar and the fucker comes out from out of nowhere. I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me he's here to wait for some sort of opportunist to come through. Huh. So out of nowhere, James came back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before... He asked me where the hell he could get a lay of the land to find out what's been, what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio and the ruins of DC, and that guy, Three Dog. Then... Sorry, one second. Like that, he was gone again. I remember the first time he showed up, almost 20 years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to or be able to get into a vault, but he must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby that wouldn't shut the fuck up. That's me! Guys, I wouldn't shut the fuck up. Normally, I would have kicked, kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. Then, like that, he almost... he ducks into a vault. Into Vault 101, and he's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy, I guess, but never spends enough caps. Huh. Oh, come on, Jericho. That's a pretty big tab, dude. Who is Stockholm? Seen a ghoul before. Good to see you again. Hey, Gob. You know what? How about a drink? Anything for you, friend. Aw. I don't really plan on drinking whiskey, but I want to support Gob. See you soon, Drunky. Come back soon. Drunky. Don't look at me like that. Like what? What am I looking at you like? Yes? You want something? A traveler, eh? Lucy West, hello. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. Oof. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? I'm not some kind of mailbag. Sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. Okay. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Give me some information about this RF food before I head out. Sure. Be glad to since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is this? Arafu is northwest of Megaton. 
on an old Make overpass it over the Potomac. Oh, see, like I said, the stuff in the overpasses. You can't miss stuff it. on overpasses. Do you suspect your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Yeah, I'll try. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay, chill. Who else lives there? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like Lucas the Sims. sheriff of the town or whatever. It's a Lucas Then Sims. there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Well, all right. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Yeah, no problem. Can I help you? My, my. Oh. Just when I'd all but given up hope. Uh. My dear girl. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. This guy's voice is ridiculous. I am Mr. Burke. No, oh, we uh, you heard about you. We definitely didn't read on a terminal you are legally. Resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. That's great. It does. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. Uh, I like, I represent I like Gob and interest. Billy's nice if a little uncertain. And Megaton Lucy's cool. As a blight on a mm, I like Lucas Sims, it's fine. Yeah, if right. this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Mm hmm. Go on, I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which. This town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. <laughs> this is you'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid. This is so Answer absurd. Me. What do you say? Let's let's give this one a try. We'll play. Oh dang! An extra got it. 500 caps, in addition to the base fee when Megaton lies in ruins. Here's the fusion pulse charge. Place it in the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. Uh -huh. You can't miss it. Any questions? Any questions? All right, it's time for Don't me to go. Great. You heard none of that, right? Right, Job? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. This is kind of nice looking, honestly. It's kind of pretty in a way. Like we're gonna stop at stop this here. So next time on follow up. Three. Um, I think we're gonna keep looking around Megaton. We got some quests we can do. We have like three quests we just got, and we found out more about our dad. Um, we'll see if we find anything else. Isn't that can right, I Andy Stall? You? All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.